Hello YouTube, we are back again. I want to show you some of the parts that we're going to be using in this build. Now this is the build that we're going to be making the portable Bluetooth speaker out of the DeWalt speaker box. I'm sorry, DeWalt drill case. So if you didn't see the first couple videos, you'll definitely want to go back and watch those. But let me show you some of the parts we're going to be using. We're going to use this Lapai 2.1 channel amplifier. If you take a look at it, it has a sub volume which can go up and down. It does have a crossover from 50 to 200 hertz. It does have treble, which will be negative to positive 10, bass negative to positive 10, and volume negative to positive 10. It has an aux input, and it has a USB port, which we will not be using. A power input, which we will obviously be using. Right and left, there's also for the sub, and then there's a right and left audio input. Okay, we'll be using that input on the back. This one will be will be available, but we, we won't be using it just because it'll be available on the front of the speaker box where you'll be able to see it. I did get four of these BMR speakers. These are pretty neat speakers. They were on buyout from Parts Express. They were $6 each. They were very inexpensive. Like I said, we're going to do uh, a little bit different of a speaker build. We're actually going to do they call it bipolar speaker design. These are 8 ohm speakers. We're going to wire them to a 4 ohm load. I'll show you how to wire those to a 4 ohm load. And we're going to put speakers on both the front of the DeWalt speaker and some on the back. And that will allow the bass, at, I'm sorry, all the audio to, to bounce off both sides of the front and the back. And it'll give you a much louder response with minimal size. So hopefully these speakers will go well in that. Um, as I noted earlier, we have tested uh, these as far as enclosure size. We're going to get to that in a minute. I did buy an antenna. This is a very small antenna that will go on the side of the box. The reason why I bought that is because I bought this, this little thing. Uh, I bought this from Amazon, and people were complaining about this because they said, ah, I can't get any FM channels. And I said, well, it has to have an antenna port on it, right? Because it's AM, FM, it has Bluetooth, it has USB on it, it has an SD card. I mean, it has to somewhere have an antenna port. But if you look at it, it does not show an antenna port. It shows a mic port, but no antenna port anywhere. Now, there's the antenna on the back, but that's for Bluetooth. That's not an actual antenna. So I hooked this thing up, and just so you know, this right here, by that screw, that little, where it looks like you can solder something to, that's the antenna port. And that will solder a wire from that to here in order to get the AM, FM sound. Um, we will be using two of these plugs. For those of you who don't know how to solder, we'll be using these. These will plug into this, which has some cradles. Uh, and we'll talk about those cradles when we go to hook it up. And they'll plug into the back where I showed you on the back of the amplifier where it says right and left. And then we have the power adapter. Now this is going to be very interesting because this, we're going to plug out the power and we're going to make it so it can hook into the Lapai amplifier right here. Or it can hook into the battery pack. Now you may be saying, wait, I don't see a battery pack. That's right, we haven't bought it yet. And the reason why we haven't bought it yet is we want to just double check and make sure that it runs off three amps like I think it, it will. And if it runs solid off three amps, then we'll go ahead and buy it by the um, battery pack, which would probably be around a 6,000 milliamp hour. Now, if for whatever reason it doesn't work well, then we're gonna wanna buy a bigger battery pack. And so that's the reason why we haven't bought that yet. Now you may be saying, well, I thought you got a 2.1 amplifier. I see these speakers. You said you're going to hook them up in 4 ohm load. These are 8 ohms, so I'm going to need two speakers for each side, two for left and two for right, to get a 4 ohm load. Where is the subwoofer? Well, I'm actually going to use a Hi-Vi B4N woofer. Unfortunately, Parts Express forgot to send it in the order. For some reason, they forgot to send it. And so that's not here yet. Um... When that guts here, if you haven't seen my overnight sensation video, I would recommend you seeing it. It's We're using the same woofers that are in there. Um, and we are going to cross this over about 200 hertz. When I modeled these in WinISD, the, about the max you're ever going to get on this is, is about 200 hertz um, of usable frequency range. And so we're, we're going to cross it over around 200 hertz 
Although we'll, we'll test it out with this just to make sure. And this remote controls for that. I do want to mention a couple things about this. This thing is hilarious. When you hook this thing up, it actually says, uh, man, what does it say? It's something like Bluetooth is ready to pair, but it says it in an Asian woman's voice that can't speak English very well. It's pretty darn hilarious. It, it, it's awesome. Uh, I might just have to rename this build kit just because of that. It's, <laughs> it's great. Now, let me show you the box again that we're going to be using. This is the DeWalt box that we're going to be using. The reason why I'm going to show you this is show you where things are going to go. We're going to put one speaker here, one speaker here, and the woofer, this is going to be the front. The woofer will go here, and this we're going to take and we're going to put right here. Now, the rest of these we haven't quite laid out yet. We are going to put two speakers. Like I told you, this is going to be a bipolar speaker design. And when this is in rooms, it's going to make it much louder and easier to hear we're going to put two on the back side here there will not be a woofer we will cut this portion of the case out and we're going to use this as a port and we're going to port out the high vibe beefy i'm sorry high vibe b4n and we're going to talk about how we ported that out and why we decided to port it out and what's uh, you know what we decided to port it out to and this amplifier i haven't quite decided exactly where it's going to go on one of these sides probably and, and sticking out on here. Um, we haven't quite decided exactly where that amplifier is going to go yet. And on the other side will be the antenna. Grab that antenna. I'll probably put it near the bottom. So probably something like here. It looks like this case needs to be cleaned some more. So when it's fully extended, it'll just barely protrude out. Um, and, and I might even have a power switch on there that'll turn it on and off as well. But this is just a sneak preview of what we're going to do. I hope you guys are excited or as excited as I am going as I am. Um, and uh, pretty soon we're going to get started on this build. Thanks guys for watching. And as always, like the video. See you next time.